Hi, I'm Matt Purvis, Applications Engineer with Analog Devices Transceiver Products Group. In this video, I'm going to introduce the Radioverse ADRV9009 evaluation system. ADRV9009 is the widest bandwidth, highest performance single chip TDD solution on the market. It delivers a common platform solution for 2G, 3G, 4G, and 5G base stations. The combination of phase lock loop agility with pre-calibration enables fast frequency hopping, improved link security, and spectrum efficiency. ADRV9009 simplifies high performance digital beam forming, thereby reducing swap and time to market for massive MIMO and phased array radar. First we'll start with the Zinc ZC706 motherboard. Make sure to connect power and ethernet, and then insert the SD card which contains all the software and drivers for the motherboard. Next we have the ADRV9009 evaluation card. The evaluation card provides access to two transmitters, two receivers, two observation receivers, a variety of I.O., and a clock source. In this demo, we're using a 30.72 MHz crystal oscillator. Put the evaluation card into the FMC connector, and at this point we're ready to power up the motherboard. While it boots, we'll go ahead and launch the evaluation software on the computer. Once that and the board is ready, we'll click on the connect button. This establishes a TCP IP connection to the FPGA on the motherboard. Once connected, we can now configure the evaluation card. The evaluation card has an AD9528 clock chip on board. First, make sure that the clock source is set to the oscillator frequency that we're using. Next, select the appropriate device clock for your profile. In this demo, we'll use 122.88 MHz. Enable receiver and transmitter channels. We'll set the RX profile to 200 MHz RF bandwidth with a sample rate of 245.76 and the TX bandwidth to 200 with a sample rate of 491.52 MHz. Finally, we'll set the observation receiver up to 450 MHz with the same sample rate as the transmitter. Set the RF PLL frequency to 1800 MHz and then you're done. At this point, click Program Device. While this is happening, in the lower right-hand corner, you'll see a progress bar which shows the state of the initialization. Once it's complete, you can move to the Transmit Data tab to set up the transmitters. This tab provides the ability to load custom waveforms using Load TX1 or Load TX2. For our demo, we'll use the Tone Parameters button, which uses the built-in tone generator to load CW tones to the transmitters. I'll set a tone of 10 MHz for transmitter 1 and a tone of 20 MHz for transmitter 2. Click play. In the spectrum window, you'll see the spectrum of the waveforms that should be coming out of the transmitter as well as a time domain representation below. We'll now click on the Receive Data tab and hit play. In this demo, we have transmitter 1 connected to receiver 1 and transmitter 2 connected to receiver 2. You can see in the spectrum window that we're receiving a tone at 10 MHz and a tone at 20 MHz on each of the receivers. Finally, a TDD tab is provided to configure TX and RX switching parameters. In addition to the development toolkits, ADI Radioverse ecosystem provides the JSD204B interface framework to simplify CERTI's development and third-party modules in production-ready form factors. For more information, visit analog.com slash ADRV9009.